Trump has to be stopped by any means necessary. It shouldn't surprise anyone that these people are being radicalized and taking action like this. So my message to them, if you truly care about our democracy, as you say you do, let democracy play out with the voters and knock off this rhetoric. One person's already been killed in Butler, Pennsylvania. And uh, but for the actions of one Secret Service agent today, there there might have been more. Well, Molly, I can tell you that just on the other side of the street is the entrance of Trump International Golf Course. You can see the red tape. The streets surrounding the golf course have been completely shut off to the public. There's heavy law enforcement presence here. You can also notice the tall lines of shrubbery around the golf course that you can definitely show and it shows a barrier between the public and what's inside there. Now, we also learned from the press conference that a witness was a big part in this investigation, we are now learning that this witness saw a male suspect run from the golf course bushes and jump into a black Nissan. This witness gave the plate number to the police who were then able to pull over the suspect who fled on I-95, the freeway here um, just outside of West Palm Beach. They were going to Marin County. The police was able to take him into custody. Now, during that press conference, we heard from Secret Service who said that the agent on the golf course noticed that a rifle was pointed outside of the fence. That's when the agents were able to shoot at that suspect and that rifle. Now, the Secret Service said that they cannot confirm if the suspect was ever able to take a shot. Now, former President Trump did tell our Fox News anchor Brett Baer on the phone earlier this afternoon that he was on hole five when this happened that he was put into a golf cart quickly and he was rushed right away to the clubhouse. He also says, former President Trump says to tell everyone that I'm fine and the Secret Service did a great job. Now, the sheriff did say that an 8K 47 sire rifle with a scope was found in the bushes along with the scope. Two backpacks were hung on the fence and a GoPro was also fine. So this is all part of the investigation that's ongoing. We heard from a Secret Service representative who said right now, quote, the threat level is high and we've increased the amount of assets that we've supported. Right now, we live in danger time, unquote. Now, of course, as this investigation continues here in the Palm Beach, in the West Palm Beach area, the FBI is asking the community if they know anything Please call the FBI tip line. This is part of the investigation that they need your help to understand more about this male suspect. They also stress that the surrounding areas will be closed. And if you do live in this area, the police are going to be working with the people here to make sure uh, that they're able to get to and from. But of course, as you see, this is an active crime scene. We'll be gathering the latest. I'll send it back to you. Dana Marie McNichol, thank you there. A second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, the Republican presidential candidate, says he is safe and well after being targeted while golfing at the Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach this afternoon. The suspected gunman's car was pulled over by Martin County Police, where he was taken into custody. Also found at the scene where the shots were fired were weapons hanging on a fence. There were two bags, a GoPro, and a long gun. Over two months ago, the former president survived a first assassination attempt during his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The former president has responded to the shooting, writing, there were gunshots in my vicinity, but before rumors start spiraling out of control, I wanted you to hear this first. I am safe and well. Nothing will slow me down. I will never you. surrender. No more games. It's time for the truth to shine. I'll fix this mess, but we're running out of